So, best areas to invest, part one. It's going to be a bit lengthy, but it's worth it, I promise you. So, in front of me is Old Town Dubai. And I've explained previously, so if you notice my last video, from my last video, the property value is appreciated anywhere between 15 to 25 percent based on your view. So I made a very detailed video on why there are few areas in Dubai you can make serious money. Enjoy the video. So I was talking about, I'm going to talk about the best areas to invest in Dubai. The projects that make complete sense to me. So I'm going to start with Imperial Avenue, downtown Dubai. I've spoken about this project a couple of times, but now I need to remind all my investors about this project. So one, to understand the contractor, Shapurji Palanji Group has a legacy over 150 years. 150 years of actual contracting experience. Now, not many because they are linked with the Tata Group. It's one of the biggest conglomerates in the world. The first construction, the first construction that they did in the Middle East was in 1971. So we'll be running through that. This is their global footprint. The number of projects that they have all over the world that they've successfully delivered, their presence in the whole world. That's how important, it's really important to understand. I've explained in multiple videos where understanding the history, the legacy, the intention of the developer is highly critical. So, um, so these are some of the landmarks of Shapurji Palanji. I mean, if it goes, it goes all the way from 1932, the Municipal Corporation building in Karachi. And so we we'll go through each one of these buildings just so you understand the legacy of this developer. The Brabant Cricket Stadium in Mumbai, the Taj Intercontinental in Mumbai, Palace of the Sultan of Amman in Muscat, World Trade Center, the airport in France, in Nice, France, the Imperial Mumbai. Now, the Imperial Mumbai, I cannot emphasize how iconic and how prestigious this building is. That's a separate discussion we can have and I can explain to you like some of the richest people in the whole of India live in this building. It's Imperial is, is a very, very VVIP prestigious building. Uh, the FN circuit, Noida, uh, Maidan, Nadal Shiba interchange is done by Shapurji Palanji. Uh, the golf villas in Arabian ranches, Fairmont, Babel Bahar, Abu Dhabi, Barva City, Qatar, all the Rove hotels by Ima, the Mudon villas, Bloom, Bloom in Abu Dhabi, Again, very important uh, building and uh, landmark headquarters in Dubai. So these are some of, and, and this like, see construction, see now why I'm showing these, you must understand the expertise of these contractors. Like this, I mean, structures like these are considered, so that's why they call it engineering the impossible. Structures like these, only absolute experts, professionals in the industry, and there are not many because people cannot hire the top best professionals in the market. They're too expensive to hire. So that is why most of the construction that you'll see in Dubai nowadays, the construction is completed in 12 months, in 18 months, in 24 months. And for me, that's scary. So to be able now, I'm going to get into the architects and, and more details into the project. So hang on. There is a place where life is all what you imagined it to be. Where you reach new heights of grandeur and awake to extraordinary views every day. This is where you dive into the lap of luxury and indulge in life's finest. It's your oasis of calm, your private world in the middle of a vibrant city. It's a dream waiting to be lived, where life is a constant celebration, and you rise above all else. Imperial Avenue. Now look at this. This is the Reserve Bank of India, built in 1939. And they did the renovation work in 1980, the Reserve Bank of India. Uh, this is the FN circuit. This is what the first residential building in Mumbai with a private pool 
first luxury building in in Mumbai was built by so this is what I'm talking about it's a legacy we're talking about a legacy over here uh, UB city in Bangalore now now I did work in Bangalore for about two years so I know UB city in back the Louis Vuitton I think India I don't know how many stores of Louis Vuitton is actually there but you have a Louis Vuitton store in UB city in Bangalore so you'll understand the sort of level that I'm talking about so um, Hotel Oberoi, the first underground metro line in Delhi by Shapurji Palonji. Now, if I if I just quickly run you through the legacy, the World Trade Center in India, the Zuari Railway Bridge, the bridge that connects in in Goa, India. Now, again, these constructions are not. I mean, you can now you understand the impact of what level of contractor that we're dealing over here the jammu uh, udampur highway in india again this, all of these projects are done by this contractor this developer that we're talking about so again we you, you have not dealt with a contractor like this in dubai this is probably that is why i'm trying to give you a bit of history over here this is just in the middle east so the golf villas in arabian ranches the mudon villas by for dubai properties the rove hotel the Fairmont Bab al Baha, the Palace of the Sultan of Oman, and the Maidan Nadal Shiva Interchange. This is just in the Middle East. So we are talking about. Oh, again. Oh, sorry. Doesn't stop. Going, going on. Nashama Town Square, King's College Hospital, Imar Business Park, Dubai Hills. My office is here. <laughs> My office. The Gateway Towers in Palm. 5242 by Emar. Oh, this is like uh, so. Uh, of course, we now we understand why Dubai. So I'm not going to get into that. But I hope you understood. Um, so we're going to make a video about this, like as to why invest in Dubai. In my previous video, I've mentioned that we're going to make a a very detailed video on this. So I'm not going to discuss about this. This is the actual view from the apartment. So you must imagine yourself as this lady over here and watching the view from the apartment so I'm, and I'm going to give you a lot of detailed um, pictures and videos from the apartment of the view so to understand the location I mean the location can't get better right so we are actually right in downtown Dubai so this is the location of the building that's Burj Khalifa right there so we're looking at it's a two minute walk to the boulevard the downtown boulevard and it's a 10 minute walk to Dubai mall so why this fascinates me is because right now in business bay the projects that are coming i will i, will, I can't name the developers but the projects that are coming now in business bay are more expensive than this project i'm talking about in downtown that is why it's such and most important we're talking about this project is being handed over in six months so it's immediate income it's immediate appreciation we're not going to wait for a couple of years so this is imperial avenue two minute walk to the boulevard 10 minute walk to dubai mall and luckily because we are at the old town site we can actually just go to gold town walk through sukal bahar and reach the downtown so it's not like you're walking the sun during the summers it's a very so when I normally even meet clients who are new to Dubai, when I ask them for a cup of coffee, I normally meet them in Sukal Bahar because there's too much of traffic in Dubai Mall. So some beautiful coffee shops, we can enjoy the view and you can avoid the traffic. So again, so that is Imperial Avenue. Why I love the location is because one, there's absolutely no construction possible in front of this tower. All of this, the entire old town, what is the height? Five to six floors. That's it. And there's nothing that blocks. And the old town view. So my office. So one of my previous offices was in this tower. So it was on a very high floor. So I remember having this view. As you guys know, I work really late in the night. So for a cup of coffee. And I used to really enjoy this view a lot. So when I got to know that this tower, I know the importance of this view, the old town view in the night. It's 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 like an Arabian dream. It's 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 a beautiful, beautiful view. And that you must understand your view is your money, like the view of a property. Like, uh, for example, in Marina Gate, 
a property with a marina view a one bedroom is 3.6 million dirhams and without a view it's 2 million dirhams so your view is your your money so um, again sp i'm going to show you something funny so you see this building right here you see this okay now look at that so we are talking about something right there so you must understand we are we are not talking about about something off plan something not getting ready the whole structure is ready that is why it's such a critical investment this is one of your last opportunities to be able to afford downtown dubai and you have to hang on to this video because the payment plan is insane it's unbelievable so uh now the master developer is ima the plot size is 95600 square foot 95600 square foot if if today a private developer had a plot of 95600 square foot he will build two towers it's impossible to have a developer build one tower on 95600 square foot now i'll explain to you why they built they wanted a the name imperial it's it's bringing about one of the most important jewels of pride of india the imperial in mumbai is is a very very high prestigious building so they build they bring a legacy from india to dubai and so that is why you're not going to find marble i'm going to show you the apartment so you're not going to find marble flooring not going to find that not in every building in downtown you'll probably find it the only building that i know is uh, the opera grand or the no not in opera grand sorry el primo has marble el primo i'll tell you the prices of el primo so it's i will get into the finishes of the apartment next stage but you must understand this is probably one of the most prestigious buildings in the world so 95600 square foot why because they were so particular that they wanted their own driveway so they took special permissions from the government from mr to have their own driveway their own valet service because they wanted this building to be nothing less than a four five star building i'll get to the amenities again so just so that they have their own private driveway on both sides so there's retail sections over here hence they decided to have one mammoth project on this plot so there are only 424 units it's a mix of 1 2 3 uh, bedroom units and 4 and 5 uh, villas i'll get to those but 424 units with around 220 floor plans i'll explain why slowly so uh, and the completion is 15 july 2024 for so this is one prime reason why i find this one of the best investment opportunities in dubai because we don't have to wait we have a leverage trading option over here we have an an opportunity to make both roi and roe so um so this is the driveway the grand entrance driveway i've explained over here this I mean, sometimes pictures cannot depict the importance, but this has the space to park twenty limousines. I don't know. I don't. I don't know many residential. I mean, I know hotels have that feature. I don't know many residential buildings who have that feature. And there will be twenty-four hours valet parking service, twenty-four hours concierge service. The retail has not been. I mean, as of now, the retail that has been confirmed, there will be a Bentley showroom. there will be a hermes cafe and there will be a a chaux lige <laughs> the plastic surgery you know they they'll have that they they don't want to have supermarkets or grocery stores they don't want to have that because they want to keep it very very premium so there'll be only there about eight retail spaces they'll only lease it out to like like the names i've mentioned something really really high end to maintain the the luxury state of the building so a 10000 square foot grand lobby again hotels have a 10000 square foot lobby and a regular i think this is the largest lobby in gcc middle east and africa the largest 
residential lobby in GCC, Middle East and Africa. So can you imagine, see whether you're living in the property or if you intend to give it out for short term, luxury short term rental, anybody who's coming new to Dubai, this is exactly what they want to experience. Luxury. Because Dubai resonates for luxury. Now, they will have a bit in the lobby. They're going to have a coffee shop. They'll have a business center. Again, for me, this reminds me of the address hotels. Because, you know, in the address hotels, they have these features, you know, and that is why the address hotels, the rental income is probably the highest. And the, even, the, our, even the appreciation is the highest in downtown. In Dubai, as of now, one of the contenders where you know 100% your investment will only grow is the address and now this is a very very similar product if not better now you have 13 high speed elevators now the elevator speed is second second to Burj Khalifa and address Skyview Towers the idea is the waiting time should not exceed 42 seconds for each resident so I'll get to the amenities. This is a lily pond. So after the podium level, uh, okay, I'll come back to this. So basically, there will be three floors of amenities. Again, in downtown, I don't know of any building with so many luxury amenities. So if you see the building, there are about five levels of parking. On the sixth level, we're going to have these ultra luxury villas. They are sold out. And I know... One of them is solo to a very famous celebrity. I cannot disclose the name. But so this is going to be a lily pond feature. What is important is that if, if these, and you must understand the sizes, okay. The three bed villa is around 3,700 square foot. The five bed villas are around 5,900 square foot. The size, the height of these villas are around 3.4 meters. And the living room height is around 8 meters so just so if these ultra luxury villas are on the sixth floor clearly you're supposed to have a full Burj Khalifa view so the view starts on the sixth floor so the sixth floor has a 40,000 square foot garden a lily pond a kids play area yoga lawn area and seating areas I'll explain I'll show it to you so now what's most important this 40,000 square foot garden has been designed by Cracknell. Now Cracknell have been the designers for Bulgari, downtown Dubai, La Mer, Al Sif area in Bur Dubai, and the Canal. So the the subcontractors that SPS hired, they've hired the best. I mean, I don't think you can find a designer better than Cracknell in Dubai. So they're the ones who are going to design this lily pond area. So this is the outdoor cinema area, the outdoor seating area. So the first infinity pool is on the ninth floor. It's in the void of the building. It's going to, so this is how it's going to look. It's, it's insane, like each facility. Now you saw the lily pond. Now this is the first infinity pool. Now in these sections, you can find it's going to be a kids indoor play area. And over here, you're going to have your steam, sauna facilities, you know, for the residents. But for me, I'm amazed at the location and the beauty, like the in detail. So in multiple videos, I've mentioned that I look for developers with passion, you know, who who love their project, who want to build something for Dubai, you know, who want to build something different. It's not just a money making model. They want to build something premium. So this is one of those contractors where each section has been so carefully designed. Let's go. So that, so can you imagine, this is your view. You have a kids play area here with that kind of a view. So now we're heading towards the 26th floor. This is a half Olympic size pool on the 26th floor. And I'll show you the view. This is how it's going to look. Now, again, if I show you the building from outside, you know that this is how it's exactly going to look. And when you understand the legacy of the contractor, the developer, you know that they are capable of making this because they have been making products like these over 150 years. So this is a cakewalk for them. I mean, for me, and can you imagine the view? I mean, the view from, so this is a 3000 square foot gym. 
with a full view of the downtown skyline. Downstairs, you have a, a hall, a party hall. So if you want to host an event, it can fit 200 people. So you can book with the concierge if you have a party, a birthday event, a meeting where you want to host an event. You can book this entire area, which fits up to 200 people. But this fact, a 3000 square foot gym with that view, phenomenal. Now, again, I've not seen any other developer who would waste so much of space. Like these are prime floors, 25th and 26th floor. Now, just to make that squash court, you know that you'll have to use both the floors to make that squash court. It's not easy. You'll have to. So if it were any other developer, they would use that space to build property, to sell apartments. So these are where these small uh, places are where you can identify the intention of a developer. So you have a state of the art clubhouse with squash court. You have a fully equipped 3000 square foot gym. This is the party hall. This is how it's going to look from the inside. You can host your events. You can fit guests up to 200 members. You have your private cinema. You have a game zone where you'll have your PlayStation and billiards. See, they've thought about everything, all kinds of audience, whether your kids, family, a small couple. It's just a tourist coming to enjoy Dubai. You have it all. These are the penthouses. But even the apartments are of equal quality. I'll be showing you the apartment. But these are the penthouses, just so you understand the outlook of the property. It's pure luxury. There are very few buildings Dubai would have seen with this kind of finishes, this kind of luxury, because you're having the best of the best design and create this building. So if you see, you're not going to find these in, uh, it's very, very difficult to find properties like these in Dubai. This is the actual view. So these are the decks. So I'm going to take you to the apartment. These are the decks. It's not, it's not a balcony. It's not, a, it's, it's like a patio, but it's like a deck. You know, I'm going to take you to the apartment. I'll show you this deck. And this is the actual view. This is the actual view from the apartment. Once you see the location, you've seen the location. That's Old Town Dubai. So this is what I spoke about the night view. But again, a picture does not, does not justify the beauty of the view. This view is, is unbelievable. You have to see to believe it you know in the night this view is 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 just unbelievable and the best part is nothing is ever going to block your view ever so i'm going to show you the views the different views available of course the prices fluctuate based on the views but experience the experience <laughs> actual views from your apartment unbelievable old town this is a real view actual view from the apartment this is your canal view again it's beautiful so this is where the entire peninsula project is going to come This is your business bay view. So if you understand the building, so this is the other side, the business bay view. And this is the boulevard view. So this is the boulevard view. As you can see, Dubai mall is right here. So again, this picture just not, does not justify in the night. This view is, is unbelievable. And so this is the Emar office. And uh, this is what I was explaining that, you know, you can actually go through Sukal Bahar. It's a lot easier access. So Dubai Mall is a lot closer than it seems on the map. I think we're quite clear on the view. We are, we are absolutely clear on the view. Uh, now, this is very, very important. So I want you to see these, uh, this particular award. So they got an award from the from Dubai municipality as sustainable project of the year award so so imperial avenue is one of the first sustainable buildings in dubai so i'll explain the importance of having 6d bim now even burj khalifa is 4d bim now if you have a german car 
you know you understand that everything is controlled uh by a machine i mean you cannot fix it it's not like the japanese car like a toyota where you, know, you can go to a garage and fix it it, ha- it everything is controlled by a computer you exactly know what the problem is it 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 in, it it talks to you right it tells you okay my my tire is not working uh fill in the coolant time for service it just tells you that's the advantage so mr shapur he spent 2 million dollars on just having 60 bim building image modeling so who are into construction they'll understand the importance of this so what happens is it increases the efficiency of the building and it reduces your service charges because it becomes very easy to maintain the building when there's a problem they immediately identify it and they're able to fix it so i don't think at this stage in dubai any developer or any contractor would spend an additional 2 million dollars to instill this feature into their building so and apart from this they have a grey water harvesting unit so you don't have a basement parking you'll find these five podium levels the reason they don't have a basement parking is because you'll find this massive grey water harvesting unit over there what happens is they take the uh, used water from your from your sinks from your shower areas and uh, so what happens is it goes to the basement it gets recycled and it goes to your toilet you know if you flush again it just makes it more efficient uh, and plus you have solar power so all the all the hot water supply through the hot solar powers on the roof and that is why this building has one of the lowest service charges in the whole of downtown i'll come to the service charges water purifier so that's a gift from shapurji palanji so um Eureka Forbes is one of the oldest water purifying systems uh, in India and worldwide as well Eureka Forbes so he's installed this in every house for free LPG connection so we did a survey amongst uh, over 200 nationalities and we got a feedback that most of them prefer to cook on gas in comparison to electricity and it keeps your costs lower as well it keeps your electricity bills lesser hence he has decided again it's a lot more expensive to provide an lpg connection because there's so much more fire hazards to take care of so it's so much more expensive to give an lpg connection in comparison to an electric connection now you have both options but he gives you an uh, uh, an lpg connection in the building as well so if you look at the sizes now this is something i love i've explained this again i've repeated it again and again floor plan matters by 2026 27 there'll be an oversupply of silly stock in the market what do i call silly stock one beds of 500 square foot 600 square foot these are not going to fly these apartments where you know you have these corner kitchens it used to work up to 2021 but post 2021 it does not work till 2021 dubai was targeting the middle income sector now the ultra luxury from all across the world are coming to dubai so it's a whole different market now so for them they need space they need luxury they need amenities they want the experience and hence if you look at the sizes you're not going to find these sizes two beds up to 1050 square foot three beds up to 2200 square foot the villas okay let's not talk with the villas they sold out any which ways but it's just to understand so it's it's just a 45 floor building again the supply is not too high um this is the killing key factor now for the burj khalifa view units it's 10 plus 4 on booking 10% during construction 80% on handover there's no post handover payment plan for the boulevard view and the canal view now i personally i really like the boulevard view and and you get it at very very interesting prices but both the canal view is also beautiful you saw the canal view so for the boulevard view and the canal view you get 10% on booking 10% within 2 months now not technically this this entire section can be financed because on receiving completion certificate the banks are willing to finance the product so on this situation you can finance it as well let's suppose you don't want to finance then you have a one year post handover payment plan it's not even one year it's 18 months 18 months post handover payment plan you know what that means 
you need to we need to figure out the finance part of this you'll have major support because downtown dubai the sort of roi you can achieve the sort of uh, short term rentals right now a three bed in downtown is going at close to 50000 dirhams a month 50000 dirhams a month so that's the sort of and that's the sort of for especially for this tower that's the sort of short term rental that you can assume this is the icing on the cake so this is part 1 of best products to invest in Dubai. Again, focus. There's so much of hype, different areas of Dubai. Dubai is going to stay Dubai. You don't need to go to other areas to find a good investment opportunity. Downtown Dubai and Dubai Marina are two areas in Dubai which will always have demand. It's the center of Dubai. It's the heart of Dubai. The reason why people are talking about other areas because it's all sold out. There's no there's no land left over here. So having an opportunity to invest in downtown Dubai at this payment plan, at these prices, it's an unbelievable opportunity. Okay, now the most important part of this building. I know this has been a very long presentation, but the most important part of the building, I've told you, I, I mentioned earlier, the architect, Arch Group. Now, Arch Group is the architect for only four-star and five-star hotels. So they have... They have done the JW Marquis, they've done the Grovner House in Dubai Marina, and they've done Western Dubai. So that's your architect. The landscape, I've explained Cracknell. So Cracknell has done the Bulgari Resort, Al Sif, La Mer, Canal, downtown Dubai. The facade, now the most important part of a building is actually the facade. Who has designed your facade? Now if you see, the structure of Imperial Avenue, you see that you have to bend the glass. Now, not every, every, not, no, but it's very, very difficult to actually bend glass. So hence, they hired the best in the world, Kholte, who has done Burj Khalifa, Address Skyview Towers, the Future Museum, Opus by Zara Hadid, and now they're doing Imperial Avenue, by Shapurji Palanji. So, like I've mentioned, they haven't have not skipped or they haven't skimmed any part. There's not a single part that they have tried to slide or you know go under the rug. They've used the best channel partners to develop this mammoth project, Imperial Avenue by Shapurji Palanji. Now let's head over to the show apartment. I made a very detailed video on this property about a few months ago. So now, since then, the prices have increased by at least 35%. But now we still have an opportunity for cancellations. Uh, I'm, I'm going to quickly, we're just going to run through just to, as a reminder. So, Italian granite, marble flooring, Millet appliances. I've explained to you about contracting genius. So, uh, ridges like these so that water doesn't fall down. Uh, and just quick, quickly, uh, just a quick reminder, marble, cooler, Italian appliances. And now, enjoy the apartment. And quickly, the deck. This is the deck I was talking about. Now, you can run through the apartments. 